Hi, welcome to another Majestic.Cloud video. My name is Laszlo and I'm going to show you today how to get started with AWS SAM. AWS SAM or Serverless Application Model is an open source framework developed by AWS on top of CloudFormation. Uh, this framework allows us to develop serverless applications, uh, run them locally, uh, test them, uh, emulate an API gateway, um, then uh, it will allow uh, the packaging and deployment of the application to the AWS cloud. Um, this framework comes with a command line tool uh, which you need to have installed. Uh, I will provide the links to the installation um, documentation uh, in the video description so you can uh, install uh, follow the instructions there and install the, the AWS CLI and the AWS SAM CLI on your machine and once you have done that you can uh, really get started uh, with what I'm um, doing here so uh, let's get started and let me show you how to uh, uh, work with AWS SAM. Once you've installed the um, AWS SAM CLI you need to open your terminal window and uh, initialize the project. This is done in the fa following way. We issue the command SAM init, the name of the project which in our case will be SAM demo and the runtime and in our case the runtime will be Node.js 8.10 but you can use any other runtime you want. Once we issued uh, this command um, um, it was uh, the project was created we can see it, it's in the SAM demo directory let's see what's inside it and you see there are um, couple of files and a couple of directories. We will look a little bit more in detail on what these um, uh, directories and files contain. I have opened the project in my code editor and uh, here we can see we have the events folder which contains a sample event. The events uh, uh, can be um, specified to the function when you run it and this is like a payload, the payload of the function. Um, then you have actually the hello world um, uh, folder in which you uh, can see the app.js, this is the, our lambda function. This is just a simple uh, function that outputs uh, hello world. Uh, if you want to add business logic you would add it here into this, um, this uh, file. We also have one uh, important file here, the template YAML. This is a YAML uh, template um, and uh, this is uh, where you specify all the components of your uh, serverless application and also the, the different parameters needed. So you can see uh, in this uh, initial template that some generated for us, uh, we, we have uh, defined a function. This is the hello world function. Uh, this is it, the type, uh, AWS serverless function. Uh, the properties, where is the folder, uh, what's the handler of the function, what's the runtime. And it has also an associated uh, event source, which in our case is an API uh, endpoint. So it generated for us an API uh, endpoint, and uh, this will be deployed as an API gateway uh, project and attached to our Lambda function. So whenever we invoke the API endpoint, this uh, Lambda function, which is in the app.js app file, uh, gets executed. Um, the path of the API is uh, hello and the method is get. We will see this uh, in action in a couple of uh, seconds. Now let's go back to the command line and um, 
let's uh, invoke our function uh, but before invoking it let's build it the build uh, command uh, builds our project fetches the necessary dependencies and then we can invoke it you can see our um, application is being built it takes a couple of seconds but it's done and now we will issue some uh, local invoke and we specify the event source in our case this will be the event uh, JSON in that uh, directory I've shown you and uh, our um, uh, SAM uh, CLI has uh, fetched the docker container image because uh, uh, all this uh, runs in a docker container you need docker installed um, to to run um, the SAM CLI and the function run we got some details like the duration uh, the build duration memory size of the function and the memory uh, used and in the end we have the status code 200 and the body uh, of the uh, uh, result uh, which is hello world if we would go back here and uh, modify um, here the message let's just test this out hello majestic cloud and if I uh, go back and invoke my uh, function again what can we see here is that um, I still got hello world that's because I didn't build my uh, code so let's issue SAM build our uh, project is being built again and let's invoke again the lambda function locally okay and now you can see the result is hello majestic.cloud now uh, let's test an API gateway uh, emulation locally you would do this uh, the following way sam local start API and what happens is um, uh, the sam CLI starts an API endpoint for us on this um, uh, address so in on the local host and we can we now can um, uh, invoke this API endpoint with requests and I will do that from another uh, window here and I will do this with CURL uh, curl um, and this is a get request and I need to type my API and point name and uh, the port and also the path which I have uh, specified in the template YAML and what happens uh, now the function was invoked and I got back hello majestic cloud once we uh, deploy this application on the AWS cloud we will uh, invoke it a little bit more elegantly with postman but we will see that a bit later okay so let's go back here and stop the uh, API clear the screen and let's start uh, the deployment of our application first we need to create um, an S3 bucket so let's create a bucket because uh, the package command needs uh, needs a bucket where the the output will be uh, packaged so let's create a bucket we'll use AWS S3 make bucket and the bucket name will be let's call it majestic sam I hope this is not taken okay it created it now we can package the application we issue some package and uh, the output template name will be packaged yaml you can put here any template uh, name you want then we should uh, we uh, specify the bucket name we just created so majestic sam and now our um, 
application is being packaged. This will take a bit of time, but it was pretty quick, pretty quick this time because um, it's not a very big project. Now we can deploy it. Before deploying it, uh, let me show you around the AWS console. I'm here in the CloudFormation console and you can see that uh, I have no stacks in this uh, AWS region. Let's go over to uh, API Gateway. So you can see that in API Gateway I also have uh, no uh, APIs defined. So in the command line we will now issue the deploy command. This is done with uh, SAM deploy. Uh, we need to specify the template file and this needs to be the same as uh, you specified earlier in the um, SAM package command. Uh, we will specify the region. If you don't specify this it will take the default region uh, you have configured in the CLI. Uh, in my case it will be US East 1. Uh, we also need to specify the capabilities, capability IAM. Uh, this is needed because uh, our function needs uh, uh, to create uh, permissions uh, for uh, uh, the function. So this is done with capabilities, capability IAM. And then we need to specify the stack name. Uh, which will be in our case uh, SAM demo majestic and now if I uh, run this command it should deploy uh, the application to AWS uh, so it invokes cloud formation and cloud formation will start uh, processing the, the template uh, YAML file and create all the resources for us that uh, we need for this function to run properly. Um, let's wait for this uh, cloud formation uh, uh, run to complete and then uh, we will see what uh, it was created. Actually, you can go over to CloudFormation and see what happens. So, uh, if I do a refresh now, you can see that I have a stack, some demo majestic, which has the status create in progress. Uh, all the resources needed for my application are being created right now. If we uh, click on the stack name, uh, we can see the events that um, CloudFormation does for us. So, it creates the uh, roles needed for our function to run, uh, it creates the function and the serverless REST API. And you see I have a create complete. If I go uh, over to um, API gate gateway and do a refresh, uh, here I should have also uh, an API created for me. Um, let's, yeah, it's here. But it doesn't want. It didn't want to um, reload the the get started page. Um, okay, so this is the um, uh, API I have uh, with the hello uh, mm, path, and uh, I have the the get which has an integration request to a lambda function. Okay. Let's go back to cloud formation and grab the. Uh, you see here um, we have um, this Hello World API endpoint, and we need to grab this uh, so we can test our um, our uh, function. I will invoke this API endpoint from Postman, and it should uh, uh, give us the output of the Lambda function. Mm, here, this is Postman. Uh, I open a new. Uh, pan tab I mean and uh, paste the URL I copied from the outputs and this is the get request and if I send the request I get back the message from uh, the lambda function hello majestic uh, cloud so in a few easy steps we uh, created a simple um, serverless application we deployed it uh, from the command line and we can start using it. 
Of course, in the real life, uh, you will have a little bit more complex applications, but the, the path is the same. You create uh, a skeleton um, with uh, SAM in it, you modify the function, implement your business logic, and then proceed on to deploy it. Um, you can um, add the deployment flow uh, into your uh, CI and CD pipeline um, and um, then you have a full serverless workflow. In the following episodes of this video, uh, which will come um, uh, every week uh, from now until the middle of October, we will also uh, go a little bit uh, more in depth and uh, we will also see an example of um, an automatic deployment, uh, a complete pipeline with uh, approvals and um, all, uh, all uh, that kind of stuff. Also, we, we will um, uh, expand a little bit this function and create a small little uh, application um, uh, which will uh, use Amazon uh, recognition to um, recognize um, objects and uh, uh, stuff in images. So if you are curious about that, please uh, come back uh, in a few weeks and uh, see uh, serverless in action here on Majestic.cloud. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please uh, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.